why do trade unions usually strike? Or why do people usually protest? It's because the leaders of the country or the people that they voted for in this case, people who they didn't vote for, people who are here without a mandate, it happens when they are not listening to the voices of the people. For example, if you look at the end outcome of today's um, trade union action, it was the joint trade union saying that the president uh, has responded favorably and will listen to their demands uh, during the course of tomorrow. Now my question is why couldn't the president do that before the trade unions launched this action today? Because the last time we heard, the trade unions actually approached the president's office they had a meeting with them, they came back and said we are not receiving a favourable response, which is why they are resorting to this action. So why did the president of this country or the government of this country wait for people to be burdened, for people in hospitals to be burdened, for children in school to be burdened, for children in universities or students in universities to be burdened? Why did it have to come to this point? This seems like a scenario where people are playing pushing buttons. The rulers are pushing a button, trying to see how much or how strong the trade unions are. The trade unions, on the other hand, are also pushing buttons to see if the rulers will listen to them. So that's what it has become. It all boils.